We have another example on the board. Angle beta is given, but please notice that angle is expressed in degrees. Switch your calculators to degrees. And length of side B is given. We're supposed to find the length of side A. We're supposed to find the length of side C. And we're supposed to find angle alpha. Okay. We're supposed to look at the formulas for angle beta. I'm going to first look for length of side A. Because beta is given and length of side B is given and I want to find A, I'm supposed to use the formula for tangent beta. Beta is given side B is given, I can find very easy length of side A. That's why I'm going to start from tangent beta. So I have tangent beta is equal B over A. But you're supposed to keep in mind, you don't supposed to start solving the problem from solving A. Okay, you can start from solving C. And of course, you're supposed to use different formula, okay? In order to find A, I supposed to rearrange this formula. I supposed to pull out A from the denominator by multiplying both sides of my formula by the denominator of my fraction. Always remember, anytime you want to eliminate fraction, you have to multiply both sides of the equation or formula by the denominator. A and A will cancel out. I have A tangent beta is equal B. In order to solve this formula for A, I supposed to divide both sides of the equation by tangent beta. Tangent beta. Tangent beta and tangent beta will cancel out and I have A is equal B over tangent beta, where b is equal 1.09 meters over tangent beta, which is equal 60.8 degrees, is equal 0 0.609 meters. Okay? So, next, we're supposed to find side C. We can use sine of angle beta to find length of side C because B was given and beta was given. Now, we can also use formula for cosine beta because that formula contains C. This is the length which we are looking for. And we found the length of side A. So this time, let's use this formula. But of course, you can also use Pythagorean theorem. So let's practice. We have cosine beta is equal A over C. I hope that I don't supposed to tell you that, but just in case, supposed to realize that no matter which formula you are going to use to find C, your answer is going to be always the same. So, in order to find C, I have to multiply both sides of the formula by the denominator. So, C and C will cancel out. And I have C times cosine beta is equal A. In order to find C, I have to divide both sides of my formula by cosine beta, cosine beta. This and this will cancel out. And I have C is equal A over cosine beta, where A is equal 0 0.609 meters over cosine of beta, which is equal 
0.8 degrees. If you are going to plug in these values into the calculator, you're supposed to obtain 1.24 meters. And this is the length of site C. Now, you're supposed to remember that sum of angles alpha plus beta is equal 90 degrees. If you want to find alpha, you're supposed to move beta to the right side of this formula, and I'm going to have alpha is equal 90 degrees minus beta. Alpha is equal 90 degrees minus beta, which is equal 16.8 degrees, is equal 29.2 degrees. We found length of side A, length of side C, and we found angle alpha. We can say that the problem is solved.